The Impossible combines elements of horror, disaster movie, and emotional drama to such effect that it's left preview audiences with strong recollections of the tragedy which destroyed lives and livelihoods in countries on opposite sides of the Indian Ocean. I'm scared. Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor play a couple whose Christmas holiday in Thailand is ripped apart when the giant wave sweeps them away from their three sons. The water came and swept everyone away. And I found, I found Thomas and Sam. <laughs> I film about this about the tsunami. Is that right? Why would you do that? And then when I read the script, I was just I was left in no doubt that it was a a proper um, exploration of what we are as human beings. And you see, there's hope in it in that you see how selfless people were and how how amazingly brave people were. Scenes recreating the powerful flood were filmed on location in Spain, presenting challenges for both director and his actors. Watts was helped on set by Maria Bellon, the survivor she plays in the film. The two women were reunited on the red carpet in London. Well, I feel like we've been through some things. We? Yeah, we've been through a tsunami together, <laughs> through a tsunami of generosity and trust. It's, it's a story that we can all connect with, the need to survive, who we want to survive for and why. I wanted to do this story because of I mean, many, many people that can't tell the story, so I, I, I feel I should be there for them. Teenage actor Tom Holland swaps the stage for silver screen as the Billy Elliot actor makes his movie debut with a particularly impressive performance as a 12-year-old boy trying to save his mother. Some critics have questioned whether it's right to make money from such a tragedy and have lamented the focus on the plight of Western tourists rather than local victims of the tsunami. The filmmakers point to the employment of tsunami survivors in the production and fundraising events such as Monday's premiere as examples of their sensitivity to the situation. We never found a problem in, in, in with uh, people who was there, survivors, families. Uh, we always uh, were encouraged to work in the film and now that the film is finished and we had shown the film to some people who was there and people who lost people in Thailand, uh, they are so grateful of having this opportunity of remembering what happened and remembering, of course, the people. Neil Curry, CNN, London.